Morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry in this third week of Easter. I did get ahead of myself last week, but it's the third week of um, in Easter. And uh, it's just a wonderful way to start the day. Thank you for joining Tom and I with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. So let us uh, begin with the word of the Lord. <clears throat> o Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 66. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down before you, sing, uh, sings to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful he is in his doing toward all people. He turned the sea into dry land so that they went through the waters on foot, and there we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever, his eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, you peoples, make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip? For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as a silver is tried. You brought us into the snare and you laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads and you, we went through the fire and water. But you brought us out of into the place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I called out to him in my, uh, with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you brought us through the waters of baptism to the shores of new life. Accept the sacrifice of our lives and let us enter your house there to praise your unfailing power and love through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue with our story in Daniel to see what's going to happen now. In chapter 4, beginning with verse 28. All this came from King Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of the twelve months, he was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. And the king said, Is not this great Babylon which I have built by my mighty power as a royal, royal residence and for the glory of my majesty? With the words were still in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven. O king Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken. The kingdom has departed from you, and you shall be driven from it. From among men, and your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, and you shall be you shall be made to eat grass like an ox, and seven times shall pass over you, until you have learned that the Most High rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom He will. Immediately the word was fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar; he was driven from among men and ate grass like an ox, and his body was uh, was wet with the dew of heaven till his hair grew as long as the eagle's feathers, and his nails were like bird's claws. At the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven, and my reason returned to me, and I blessed the Most High, and praised and honored him who lives forever. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom endures from generation to generation. 
all the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing, and he does according to his will in the laws in the host of heavens and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his his hand or say to him, What dost thou? At the same time my reason returned to me, and for the glory of my kingdom my majesty and splendor returned to me. My counselors and my lords sought me, and I was established in my kingdom, and still more greatness was added to me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol the honor of the king of heaven, for all his works are right and his ways are just, and those who walk in pride he is able to abase. To abase. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from 1 John chapter 4, beginning with verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and he who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, and God sent his only Son into the world, so that he might live through him. In this is love, not, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the expi expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No man has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. But, this is, but th by this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us his own spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. So we know and believe the, Lord, the love God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. In this is love perfected with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is so, uh, as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect, perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and he who fears is not perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God shall love his brother also. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by the prophet, by his son. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, you open the kingdom of heaven to those born again by water and the Spirit. Increase your gift of love in us. May all who have been freed from sins and baptism receive all that you have promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday uh, in this uh, third week of, um, of Easter. Uh, I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you and hope to see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.